Welcome, I'm Anna Rose White, we're with Beehive Quilt Shop here in Wellington, Kansas, and we are doing a tutorial on how to staple a Laura Heine collage on canvas. And so I have uh, the pineapple collage from Laura Heine. Um, we do have fabric kits for this, and I made it oversized so it could fit on a canvas. So on Laura Heine patterns, she always has the recommendation of whatever the size should be. So this is the pineapple collage. Um, and right here on the back, it says that this should be an 18 by 24 inch finished pineapple. And so I knew I wanted to wrap this on canvas. Typically we do these on teeny tiny collages, which are 19 by 23 is the size you wanna make it so it fits on a 16 by 20 canvas. And so for this pineapple one, this is one uh, you might not have seen if you haven't uh, wrapped a larger collage on canvas. Um, so the rule of thumb is you wanna have the canvas um, be the size of what um, her recommendation is. So this is an 18 by 24 inch canvas. Um, it's just a simple canvas, but it's really easy because you don't have to do any quilt sleeves or anything. You can just hang it on your a wall with a nail or a screw. And so if you see here, I have um, plenty of space on the back side of my collage. Uh, the rule of thumb is you want at least an inch and a half larger project than the size of your canvas. And that's to accommodate for the thickness of the canvas. So as I put my uh, canvas on here, I can tell that I have plenty of room. I believe when I made mine, I actually made it two inches larger all the way around just to have ample space. And so when you are collaging, um, and I am a certified teacher, um, you wanna make sure that you still collage all the way out to the outside of your project, but you wanna make sure that you're not using your very favorite pieces to the edge. Um, but you wanna make sure that when you wrap your canvas that it still has a pretty edge on it. And so the big things you need when you go to do this project is, of course, you need your canvas. You need your quilted Laura Heine collage. Um, we quilted ours with variegated uh, thread on our Gamble Statler stitcher here at Beehive Quilt Shop. You can always mail your projects in and we can quilt them. Um, and then I just used a leftover piece of wide back on it. I choose to use leftover um, cotton fabric for the batting or leftover cotton batting for the batting. Uh, Quilter's Dream is always a great choice, though. And so then you just simply need a staple gun. So this is my brother's Milwaukee um, power staple gun. Um, any staple gun will do, but this one is um, extra great. And then you also wanna have a hammer um, to help nail in uh, those finished um, pieces. So I'm gonna show you how to do these corners. Uh, and Lauren is our producer, so she's gonna make some great video um, pieces here, but it doesn't matter kind of which way you start. I recommend starting on the side because uh, you don't want to start at the stop of the start of your project. So I'm going to wrap mine around here. I'm just folding in the staple gun. Now the biggest thing um, is the corners. That's the most um, challenging thing. And so what I recommend doing is I left about an inch and a half before that corner on this piece. I like to fold it in like this. And then I like to tuck in these pieces. Now, no matter how you do it, you know, you're going to have um, what I would call a crunchy piece. You can also do a box corner. If you want to see what a box corner one looks like, you can check out our octopus uh, collage canvas video. So here I'm going to do another corner. So I'm bending it in. I'm folding over this here and here. I'm gonna do one circle there in the middle. You can always, I didn't quite catch that one, so I'm gonna do one there as well. You can always kind of um, think of it as doing a basting um, on your staple. I'm going, I think that's about every three inches or so. You wanna also make sure that you're pulling evenly, so I still recommend making your canvas or your collage a, a square. I'm gonna go ahead and do this side here too, because at the top, I wanna make sure that that looks really good. I love that girl, she's from Ruby Star. Okay, here's another corner. So we're gonna bend it in like this, tuck it in, tuck it in. sure if you didn't have access to a staple gun, you know, you could probably just hot glue anything. You want to be mindful, of course, of where you're putting those staples because you don't want to go to the hospital. Ooh. 
And so there we have a quick, very easy job. Great job on the uh, pineapple collage. You can see it just looks nice. The pineapple collage fills it and the edges look really nice. And those top corners, they really aren't too crunchy and just remind yourself that it's art and you're totally fine. So um, just go ahead and get those collages out, find a canvas, um, get it finished up. And just remember that rule about having a little bit of extra. And thank you for watching this tutorial from Beehive Quilt Shop in Wellington, Kansas.